Hi guys and welcome. This is my channel. Uh, today I thought that the best way to start the channel was by giving you a little video to get to know me. I know it's cliche and so many people do it but I think it's just the best way to introduce myself. So hi, welcome. My name is Odalis and this is going to be my channel to kind of post little quirky videos of things that I just want to share with people. I feel like I'm a very creative person and then this is a great outlet for me to show that creativity. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for today's video, I thought that I would just compile a couple of questions that I've seen that most people have done. I googled some, I looked at a lot of YouTube videos, and it's just about five or six questions that I feel would be best for me to answer so that you guys can get to know me. Um, and if you see me looking down, I apologize, I'm just looking at my phone where I have my questions. Um, so uh, just a little bit about myself. Again, my name is Odalis. I was born and raised in Puerto Rico until I was 18 and then I moved up to the states to do college and after college I just never went back. I stayed here, I go every once in a while to visit family but I mostly am on the east side uh, of the US. So one question that I saw come up a bunch of time in different videos as well as Google is what is your taste in music, uh, favorite music, favorite TV shows, etc, etc. So I am very old school. I love the 80s. I love the 90s. I'm a 90s baby. Um, I was born in 93. So um, that's kind of my favorite genre. But if I had to pick my favorite artist, that would have to be uh, Michael Jackson. Um, I kind of came into the fandom for Michael a little late, um, mostly when he died in 2009. I just started hearing his music and I fell in love with the way he made music of different genres, how he danced, how his music videos were pretty much short films um, instead of music videos and that the, like, the theater and the thought process behind everything he did and how well he did them. Um, that kind of drew me to um, him as an artist, and plus he was a lot of a lot of his music came in the 80s and the 90s, which is kind of my favorite realm of music. Um, I grew up listening to a lot of them because my mom loved them, um, loved that kind of music. So I kind of grew up loving that music. As for TV shows, I know I'm weird. Right now, I don't have any favorite TV shows at the moment. Um, I mostly also see older kind of um, TV series. I have. I feel like one of my favorites ever is I Dream of Jeannie, which is a little little old. It's far beyond, far before I was born. But I love that show. It's one of my favorite series. Um, but I do see a little bit of everything. Like I see a Dream of Genie, I saw Vampire Diaries, I saw Bewitched, which is another oldie. I've seen Golden Girls, I've seen Ghost Whisperer, and I don't know, a lot of things. I'm watching This Is Us now. That's kind of like the one that I kind of um, see weekly. Um, I've never seen Game of Thrones, sorry. I'm not that, I was never into that one. Um, I haven't seen Riverdale, I might jump on that boat. Really depends on my mood, uh, but yeah. Uh, so that's it. Um, next question that I have is cats versus dogs. I am a, I don't discriminate, but I am a cat lady through and through. Um, right now we have two cats. Uh, the first cat, she is a black Persian. Her name is Dove Chocolate. She was very dark brown when we got her as a baby. From We rescued her from a pet shop where she was being treated very badly. Um, so we got her from there. We got her, I think she was six months old when we got her. Um, and my sister named her Dove Chocolate. We've had her, she's 12 now. So she is a little old lady by now. Um, yeah, and she is very furry. She's black and she has yellow eyes. I'll 
put a picture of here or here depending on where I can put it in and I then about four years ago my sister rescued a stray cat who literally just walked up to her right outside our front, uh, right outside our front door um, her name is Greasy because she was gray and in Spanish gray is Gris so Greasy from gray I know very very great naming on, on our part by the way so her name is Greasy Bell. She is four now and she is just a huge ball. She's like she's super heavy. She's like a little ball and she's just a ball of love. She is the sweetest cat that I've ever met and she's very responsive. Like you will tell her something and she'll meow back. Like she has conversations with you and she will tell you exactly what she wants. Like she will meow and take you to what it is and keep looking straight at the thing and looks at you and looks back at the thing being like, this is what I want, this is what I need. So she is just a sweetheart and she's lovely and I'll also put a picture up here or here depending on where I can put it. <laughs> okay, so the next question, romance, what is your love life? So I am a hopeless romantic. I love love, if that makes sense. I am the kind of person who, I love to read, but my favorite genre of reading is romance novels, romantic comedies, romances. I just adore them. I love all the Nicholas Sparks. I've um, read all those. Uh, but th those kind of books are kind of my realm. Um, I love the Hallmark Channel just because it's romance and romantic comedies 24 seven. So I love that. But even though I am a hopeless romantic, I'm single. <laughs> I am on my own, I'm loving the single life. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but on the other hand, I'm super, super close with my family. My sister, who's three years younger than me, and my mother are my best friends. I We speak to each other every day. We text to each other multiple times a day. So we're in each other's lives and I, it's a package deal with me. It's me and my family. Um, my mom and my sister has, have always been there for me. They're my rock and I love them to death. Um, so I'm very, very close with them and I am who I am because of them, so. Okay, next question that I saw a lot is hobbies. What do you do on your time off? So I love photography. Um, I love taking pictures. I'm more of a nature and landscape kind of person. I'm not a by any means a professional photographer. I've never taken any photography classes. Um, I normally just take pictures with my iPhone 10 and post them on Instagram. I did get a small sponsorship by a company ca uh, called Shotzer. And it's mostly kind of like revamping what these um, stock photos are. So it's actual people going out, taking pictures of places that needed or of cool things that you want. You post them on their app and people can actually buy them and we'll make a little money out of it. So I did get sponsored by them. I do take pictures and post them in my Instagram and in their app in case you guys want to head over the... I'll post the link down below so that you guys can go watch it. So shout out to Chatzer. Um, but apart from photography, I love reading. As I said, I love to read romance novels. I love to listen to music. 80s mostly. I listen to a lot of Michael. I listen to a little bit of Spanish. A little bit of a little bit of everything actually. But mostly that um i love watching tv especially hallmark i know cliche the romance novel romantic and me i yeah and i love to watch too much youtube i spend way too much time there so that's kind of what i do for hobbies um so what is your style and by that they were asking clothing wise and I will say it really depends on my mood. I have a lot of very like different styles of clothing in my closet because it 
like I pretty much dress however I woke up feeling that day so I have like little shirts like these are like kind of romantic and pastel colors uh, that you use, that I normally use like when it's spring or when I'm feeling like whimsical but on the opposite side I have a full collection of leather jackets in whatever color you can imagine they are not real they're <laughs> fake leather but I love them and I wear them when I'm feeling edgy and when I'm feeling like a little rock star that day. I have a faux leather kind of bodysuit that I wear. I have professional clothes. I have a lot of sweaters and hoodies because there's days that I just want to be as comfy as possible. I have a lot of t-shirts and graphic tees that I wear when I just want to be like that normal cool kid from the side. So I have a lot of different styles i don't think i have that one style that i stick to i like to kind of shake it up a little bit same thing with the shoes i have a very wide collection of shoes um i love boots so i have flat boots tall boots boots with a little bit of a heel i have multiple heels in different colors i have a lot of sandals and flat shoes and little booties so i have a very wide selection not many as in like i don't have hundreds and hundreds of them but i do have a very wide and varied collection because i kind of like to match so whatever my mood is on with my shirt and my pants i kind of try to match it with my um if it's a bag or like a backpack or a purse and my shoes so i kind of try to do that actually i love hats I have a problem where my head is smaller than usual so a lot of that a lot of times the hats that fit me are the kids hats so that doesn't have a lot of range to it so I do have like four or five hats but they're still kind of big on me so it can't be that windy and so there's like a lot of factors to it next question is social media so what social media do you have so I think I have a little bit of everything with social media accounts. Um, so I know I have a Snapchat, I have a Tumblr, I have Facebook, I have Instagram, I have Twitter. Um, they're all under the same handle. I'll link them down below, but it's O-N-A-P-1-7. Uh, that's pretty much the handle that I always use, so try to keep it very... This, like very monotonous the same throughout all of my social media accounts uh, but I really normally am just in Instagram that's the one that I use the most so on Instagram I have two accounts I have my photography account which is the ONAP17 ONAP17 it's the one that I've had for a very long time and I never showed my face on that one my face is not on any of the picture except for my profile picture which I recently changed to a picture of myself and because I was gonna start this YouTube channel I decided that I wanted to post pictures about myself and pictures of what I'm doing with me actually in the sh in the shot so I created a second account which is my personal account aka for pictures of me so it's only pictures of me my photography pictures are going to stay on the own up account but that personal account is odalis underscore amador which is my full name i will link them down below so if you want to give me a follow that's great that's it that's a little bit about me i feel like those questions pretty much give you a good idea of kind of who i am and what i like and these videos that i'll be posting on the channel might give you a better idea because it's things that i feel are close to me things that i like and i want to adventure in that i want to try i'll make a video and post it i'm not gonna be like one thing my channel is not going to be like only DIYs or only makeup. I'm going to be a little bit of everything. If I feel like doing a DIY, I'll do a di um, DIY. If I feel like doing a get ready with me and show you how I do my makeup, I'll do that. So it's kind of a little bit of everything, very whimsical. I feel like that's very me where it depends on my mood. So if you want to um, come along for the ride, I really do appreciate it and I would love to have you be a part of my journey. So please give this uh, video a like, hit the subscribe button, um, hit the notification bell to get a notification every time I post. I'll try to post once a week. Uh, hopefully if my job doesn't get in the way, that's 
the plan. Um, so leave a comment below if there's any other questions that you have. I'll try to answer them um, as best as I can. And so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.